One of the questions I get a lot in this channel is what are the best brokers for US clients? What's going on traders? Welcome back to Bangkok in Thailand. I'm still here with the virus, the COVID-19 virus, but everything is starting to open now in Thailand, which is a good news. Today I'll share with you basically how to go about choosing a broker if you're residing in the US, in the United States of America, which broker is the best or which brokers could fit you and a bit of background about how this all works and what brokers are available for you to trade with as an American resident. So first things first, what I want to do is I want to talk about why many brokers are not available in the US. And that's really simple. It's because for a broker to be able to do business in the US, they have to be NFA regulated. NFA is the National Future Association. They are the entity in the United States that are representing brokers and regulating all the brokers doing business there. And a broker that simply isn't registered with them cannot do business in the United States, quite simply. The rules of the NFA are quite different from other countries. You have things like limitation on leverage, which is, I believe, 50 to 1 maximum right now. And they have different rules on the management of orders, like FIFO, first in, first out. Now that means that there are only a handful of brokers available for the United States. And in this video, I pick three, the three best ones, plus one extra for some people. So let's get in that list right now. The first broker you can have access to in the US is IG. IG is based primarily in London, UK, but they have offices pretty much around the world and especially in the US because they accept US clients. We'll put the table right here in the video so you can check it out and how they differentiate from other brokers. If you wanna have a more in-depth look at this, pause the video and come back to watching this after. No worries with that. The second broker I would recommend for the US is Oanda. Oanda is a broker that I've been using for a long time now, roughly seven years, and they do a really good job at innovating, changing things, and making the platform better. They are not having the best customer service. None of these brokers in the list have that because they are big brokers. Oanda is based in New York, and they are really good at dealing with US clients. They have a feature that's different than the other ones here, which is the fact that they allow trading on TradingView and they have their own platform. So if you want to choose a broker with the most platform that are home built, like they build themselves, I think one that would be the best choice here. Now, this is one that I highly recommend because of their really low deposit. So let's say you wanna open an account with a broker, they put it $100 first. Well, most of these brokers here would not allow that, except the one that they allow it because they have a minimum deposit of, I believe, $1, which means that you can deposit anything in your account and trade with them, which is kind of good. And they have the possibility for you to trade any unit number, so they don't go in lots. Outside of VentaTrader 4, they go into units, which means you can buy one unit worth $1 of currency if you wish, which means that your risk management could be really good with them if you use their own platform or trading to trade with them. I can put some details here on screen so you can check it out and pause the video if you need to. So that is the second choice of broker for US client. So I really hope you're enjoying this video so far. My hope with this channel is to be able to help as many traders as I can throughout these videos, throughout these interviews I do with traders on all topics, throughout these small videos I do that are, more, that are shorter on how you can kind of get breakthroughs and move forward in trading, and through the motivational videos we do for getting you pumped up and ready for the weekend trading. Now, I want to make sure that this video reaches a lot of people and that it actually reaches people that need to see these things and need to come across these videos. And for that, I would love you to, first of all, like the video, click the like button below, and also subscribe if you haven't been subscribed yet to the channel. That's gonna allow you to get more notifications for videos and also it's gonna increase the view we get in videos so that other people can see them and learn from them and actually get results. There are things we talk about here on the channel that need to be heard and they need to be coming across the right people. And I really hope you can help me do this. Also, you can click the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. And obviously let me know if I can help in any way in the comment section. Now back to the video. The third one is Forex.com and Forex.com is also regulated in the US by the NFA. They are based in Bedminster in the United States and they are very similar to Wenda in the fact that they are also using TradingView. You can connect your account and trade from TradingView if you prefer. But unlike Wenda, they have a slightly higher requirement to be able to put an account. For most people that doesn't matter but it could matter for you if you are having low capital right now. They require, I believe, a $250 minimum deposit on your account, which is not much, but for some people that could be an issue. I'll put some details on that broker here on the screen. And all those brokers are well regulated. They are big companies, not just shady brokers. They've been there for several years and they are able to accept you as a US client. Now, I did say that I wanted to make one more mention of broker here, and that's going to be specifically for 
global traders, meaning people that want to trade different instruments, different markets, and different things overall. If that's your case and you don't want to trade only Forex, then one of the best brokers for you is actually Interactive Broker. I've been using them for some time to invest in different markets to kind of be able to touch on different markets and they are a really good choice. The only thing with Interactive Broker is the fact that their platform is complicated to use for a beginner. They are not really beginner friendly and you have quite a learning curve to be able to trade with them. You have to go through the process of learning the platform, learning how they work and they don't really integrate with TradingView at all. They have their own platform, which is really, really strong and good for professional traders, but a little bit less for beginners. Now, the good thing is that you can open an account with them whether you're in the US or anywhere else outside the US. If you are in Thailand, you can open an account with them. They have a division here and almost anywhere else. So that is a really good thing. So that could be a really good choice for you if you want to trade different markets, different instruments, different things overall, and you can do it with Interactive Broker. If you want to stick to Forex, then by all means, I don't think Interactive Broker is the best choice here. You should be going with one of the broker above, either IG, Oenda, or Forex.com. So I hope this helps. Let me know your thoughts as always in the comment section. I want to hear if you recommend any other broker. I left some name here out of the list because some brokers are not really good or they've been involved with scandals in the past or they have some lawsuits against them. But if you have any other broker you like, let me know. I would love to hear. As always, here are a few comments for the past video. I appreciate the comments in the comment section as always. And I'll catch you back here in Bangkok for the next video pretty soon. Ciao.